Tossed in, there's a possibility there, and a goal is given, scored by Nedved. The Czechs have taken a real surprise lead there. It's getting to the door. Absolutely perfect conditions here at Anfield tonight. A wonderful surface. And a really nice, bright, mild evening. Well, a win would certainly take Italy into the quarterfinals. Placed here by young Enrico Chiesa. Chiesa. Chiesa shot. Well held. Condensed the game, squeezed midfield, pressurised very quickly. Potorski, tossed in, there's a possibility there, and a goal is given, scored by Nedved. The Czechs have taken a real surprise lead there. That is a sensational start. The Italian defence pierced with such facility by the Czechs. They were looking around and wondering what on earth was happening. Anthony took it easy. Ravanelli, Chiesa. Corner given. The uh, goal again from the reverse angle, Ron. Yes, I mean, I actually... In Dusan Purin, the... Uh... Babel. Machiel, Bonadoni coming in. Ravanelli up there, but the keeper's good hat. Boski's done well here. A little cross that needs to be a good one. And they're claiming him. Played wide for Fusa. Chiesa! It's 1-1! One, one. Czech still complaining to the referee that there was an infringement at the other end. But a wonderful sweeping move. Chiesa brought into the side at the last moment into the squad at any rate and then chosen in place of Casada. With the promise of a really good game here now. Ravanelli gets a free kick. Conceded by uh, well, Savocious free kick on him, but he's delicately played one here for Maldini. Well, he wants it. It's been his day already, actually. He became a father this morning. Uh, Ravanelli's in the middle. So is the keeper. The keeper actually, I think, had one eye on Ravanelli coming in and just clawed at that one. I'm not surprised. Ravanelli felt there should have... Hornick then actually sprinted past the sweeper, Cadillacs there, to see the danger. Time since I've seen a yellow card delivered. So much later than that, but an excellent piece of refereeing. In no way allowing... He said something stupid to no, the he's already been booked. He's already been... A long-range shot. That would have been very interesting on target, that one. A... Measuring up the cross. Oh, it's another goal! And it's Babel, who's put the Czechs 2-1 ahead! Well, this is an astonishing game tonight. And the battle is really on now for the Italians. Just going to ask you the question... Albertini with it, floated towards Ravanelli. Ravanelli's header goes over the crossbar. Okay. There goes the half-time whistle. What drama! Nedved putting the Czech Republic ahead. Chiesa equalising for Italy. In the air, Maldini as well. Maldini. Ooh, signal their intent, Italy. They've come out. They're going to put a full press on. They're going to try and snatch it. Still holding this 2-1 advantage. Fusa with the cross. The keeper fisting it away. Vanelli on his feet again. And they're not... Oh! And Chiesa, a real, what they call, snapshot. But also as a target player. Podborski flag is up for an offside against Kuka. Well, that was a fairly ambitious shot. Berger, who uh, plays in the Bundesliga with Borski's kick. Floated towards the far post there. Keeper's ball. Free kick, nodded away quite comfortably. Donadoni trying to return it, but it's hit up into the top. 
Well filled tonight with Italian blue. A little surprising. Donadoni's made a terrific run for him as well. And Suchik Harit. Ten men are dominating this second half. That was uh, clearly a dive there by Kazaragi. Struggle getting it out. Oh, and Maldini just over the top. Golden chance, Brian. I think it might have been Babel. I'm trying to think, see which one of them. Oh. Got people like Paborski on it. And... Oh! Oh, it's over the top. Oh. <laughs> Chiesa again. A shot. Here's that shot. Here's that one on the hook again. Huh? Another goal here. Smirka with a. Oh! And Perucci had it and looked to have uh, had it cleanly. And. Kazarag is there. Well spotted and quickly intercepted by Kuba. Chiesa is there too. Hit it straight at the Czech defence. Keeper's going for this one. Good, safe power. Oh, he's done really well. And he's won a free kick. Borski with it. Well, that was not far from being the third. Oh, is a hair's breath. Be happy that he's gone, but they won't be happy that Zola's on because Zola was the star of the show. Anxiously around the place, hoping that there's going to be a second goal. But not with that header from Hornack. Making the break. Plenty of movement up front and a good touch. And he's played Donadoni in. It's Saki would have fully have expected uh, Donadoni to produce. Waiting. Kazarag is waiting. So too is Kuba. And they're not happy with uh, Kazaragi's challenge to Kuba. There's Costa Curta. Nedved, who started everything here. Oh. Excitement got too much for him. Donadoni with the cross inside, but it's a bad one. And Nemec can uh, have treatment on the field, so he's either got a soldier on or come off. Ref, aren't you? Albertini is having a word with him, and now Nemec is off. For it to get up there with him, including Smersa. And some terrific goalkeeping by Peruzzi. That's a ball for Podgorski. And another good save. Playing it wide for little Nedved. And a free kick for the Czechs now. And a yellow card for Fusa. Still with Zola. And there's a chance here, and it's knocked over by Kazaragi. And every Italian on the field has fallen flat on his face in despair. That'll go down with things like Jeff Astor against Brazil. Well, the final whistle has gone, and it's the upset of the tournament so far. The Czechs, even though the Italians were playing with just ten men, in the second half, they dominated that second half. They had that glorious opportunity. We've just seen the close-up there.